Welcome back to another Fed. This is FIFA 19 episode 14. It's make or break this episode. We take on Hibs, right? It is a must win. I'm not drawing it. We've got 14 games to go. Look at this league table, folks. We are 10 off Aberdeen. We've actually closed that, but look, we're 5 off Hibs. We cannot afford to fucking get beat by them, at the, but we need to It's a win, because we want to get in the top three. You know what I mean? And the chances are slipping away. We've got to beat them. I mean, Celtic look like they're going to bloody catch Aberdeen and win as well, which is uh, pretty pish. Uh, no, you'd rather Aberdeen win the league than this. I mean, it's only FIFA at the end of the day, but yeah, I'd still rather Aberdeen win. Uh, Lincoln and Portfield are out of it. It's a five-horse race for the title, but it's still going to be close. But we're taking on Hibs. I'm pretty uh, sure it is at Easter Road. It is at Easter Road. Kyle Lafferty will want to be playing. No worries, Kyle. You'll be playing. But anyway, let's get stuck in to this mega match. The big one. Hibs. Rangers. It's a must win here at Easter Road, not Ivy Lane. 1875, brother. All over the badge. Plastered over the badge. Ugh, not really plastered, but regardless. Marathon bet versus 32 red. Every, like... They all like their betting sponsors, like, but as you see, we have conceded the least amount of goals, but Celtic and Hibs are only only conceded one more. Aberdeen have conceded two more, and Hearts have conceded three more. But this, we've played Hibs a lot of times this uh, creep. We've only played Celtic once, but it's because we've got Aberdeen and Hibs in the cup as well, which just seems like we've played them a load more. I think that's the third time we've played Hibs. Manager Neil Lennon. Basically a full strength of our uh, Hibs team. So hopefully we can get the job done here. And pick up the f all important three points. <laughs> Last time out it was 3-0 to us when we played Hibs. So they'll be looking to avenge that. But we'll be looking to repeat it. With Candeas now charging forward. Candeas. He's waiting for that we run from him. Or Lee Wallace just stands there like a Muppet. But we can hopefully redeem that. Oh, and it's fell to nothing. McLaren knows been played through. Scott McKenna charging down. Great defending though. Lee Wallace getting stuck in, but he loses it straight to Gunther. Who finds back to Lee Wallace, who manages to clear it. But he's lost it again. Well, it wasn't really him that lost it, but. And it's a free kick to Hibbs now. Malin will be looking to plant this on someone's dome. And it's a comfortable save in the end. Morales. Lafferty! Oh, it needs to be in. Needs to be going in. Ryan Jack. Morales. No quite. Oh, off the bloody post. Really should have been going in. <laughs> and that is the halftime whistle. Hibs are almost, there was a half chance there at the end for them, but nil nil, pretty unoffentful uh, first half here at Easter Road. Back post. And what a header, what a ball. And what a fantastic finish right into Jamie Murphy. What a goal. Fan bloody tastic. We need a win here. We've got the goal. All we need to do now is hang on and hopefully maybe extend the lead. But look at this. Whipped in. Back post. Rises right above the Hibs man. And yeah, can't see of that. And Deas. Back post. Oh, Jamie Murphy. Almost a game, but we've won a corner now. Ryan Jack whips it in. Morelos. Almost now. Who's the ball fall to? Lee Wallace. He will boot this up. Lafferty. Come on, Lafferty. And no, nah, no quite. And Barry. First time whipped in, and we managed to clear it. Ball falls to Morelos now. Can we counter attack? That's shit, mate. 
But Lafferty, that's, that's great though from Murphy and Lafferty. Come on. Great ball. Ah, we can't get it in though. Oh! Polaxed, holy shit, they're all tripping over each other. Polaxed again. Play on, I assume. Gandes has slid in, but nothing comes out now. Stevenson. To Jamie McLaren. And we've bloody sent McLaren to the shops. McKenna. I mean, I think I won the ball there, but the referees gave him a yellow. Malin. Whips it in. Manages to get cleared. Valverde. Up to Jamie Murphy. Valverde now making the charge forward. And it's such a shit ball, man. Can we get counter Kyle Lafferty? Fives can't they ask. He's just got no pace, but he manages to actually burst the front. Back post, Jamie Murphy! Oh, and is that a goal kick? No, it is a corner. Ryan Jack now whips it in. But I lost off the... Oh, it rolls along the bar. And can't... Doesn't find its way in. Mental. Sadiq wins the ball. The substitute that's came on. Candeas. Josh Anua into him. Candeas. Anua. Sadiq. Back to Anua. Back post. Our field. And that is another corner. Surely we just keep it up here. Ryan Jack. Oh. And the balls fell right to the only Hibs guy. But Lee Wallace has lost out. Sadly. Jack. Sadiq, back to Sadiq, oh the play, back post, Arfield, oh almost in the back of there, but that should be the game, he's out three minutes on, we've got three seconds left, boots it up, heads it down and that is the full time whistle, we've managed to hang on, the three points are ours, thank Christ for that. The Jamie Murphy goal was the difference in the end. As you look at the stats, we were the better team. Heads didn't really show up, but it's always nerve-wracking at the end. As you can see, the Hearts won 2-1. And Celtic get beat. And Aberdeen won as well. Into the next game, though, against Portfield. This is a big similar run at home. Hopefully, we can pick up all three points here. They did draw Aberdeen like so. You never know. We went 2-1. They scored straight away. But Candeas picked up an injury. But Tavernier and the Thomas with the other goals. Hopefully that injury is not too serious. Well, Candeas is out for three months. So it is pretty serious. But uh, Katic, who seems to have been out for about fucking four years, is finally back. Here we go into the next game against Mansfield. And um, we've got an injury, which is not Alan McGregor, for fuck's sake. Plus, we sold Fodderingham. So, this guy, Mitrev, probably getting his only game of the season here, folks. So, hopefully, he can. Uh, Lafferty says he wants sold in the next window. But, I mean, look at my strikers we've got. We've got him, Mayerall, Sadiq, Morales, and De Thomas. You know what I mean? It's hard to start them all. But, fuck it, Lafferty. You want in then, we'll fucking play you from now on, big man. No worries. As long as you pick up the win here, I couldn't give a monkey shit. Come on. Fuck off getting beat 2-0 by Mansfield, man. That's utter pish. So I decided that we need to bring some players in. We've got a lot in the wage budget. Um, and I thought, why not go to the Chinese League and bring some of these money-grabbing pricks back home? To the the western the western hemisphere, you know what I mean. So I don't think we'll be able to afford him like in terms of money. But do we not? We would bound to have a player. Seven point three. Ho ho! Hulk could be on his way to the mighty Glasgow Rangers. That would be mega. But the only problem is, would be like um, if Hulk wants like a additional fee or something. That, that would be a problem. Except, yes, you would be crucial being 80 rated. Three year deal. Take him up to these 35.
Two year deal. Hulk. Disregard. We've accepted it. Hulk has joined Rangers. I mean, that's fucking... With no transfer takeover, I have done pretty well to bring in Hulk. Candeas, it's sad to see him go, but he did much. Hulk star power. Candeas saint. But anyway, this will do it for episode 14. Episode 15, we'll be taking on hearts. But Stephen Davis and um, Hulk will be joining us. Um... At the end of the season, but it'll be Candace goodbye. It'll be sad to see him go, obviously, but he's injured at the minute, so. And he's not really did much for us this season, let's be honest, folks. But anyway, Hulk's joining, Stevie Davis is joining. Next time, though, it's Hearts. We need to wait to the end of the season to play them, though. Well, not play them, but, uh, well, next season to play with Hulk, etc. So, till next time.